right, this video is going to deal with the fact that it's possible to use two different pair of parametric equations to represent the same curve. Parametric equations don't give you a unique curve necessarily. You can, there are actually an infinite number of param parametric equations that will give you the exact same curve in rectangular form. Now, we know rectangular is not necessarily the same way. Okay, so let's practice this. How can this possibly happen? Okay, well, I'll show you one, and from that we'll make yet another one. So remember when we are given to a pair of parametric equations, this tells me what my x and y values will look like according to a parameter t. x is going to be t plus 1, y is going to be negative 3t plus 5, and we're going to do this for values of t between 1 and 5. Okay, so what we want to do first is write down what the equivalent would be if we remove the parameters. Okay, so let's do that. And our job when removing parameters is remember to solve for one of the two equations, solve for t. Now notice this is a lot more simple than this one down here. For here I would have to subtract 5 and divide by negative 3. And this one to solve for t, all I have to do is subtract 1. That's much simpler would lead to much less, fewer issues. So that's what I'm going to do. And I get that t is equal to x minus 1. Again, our goal is to remove the parameters. So our next step when removing the parameter is to then take that value for t and substitute it into the other equation. So that gives me y equals negative 3 times x minus 1, because t was equal to x minus 1, plus 5. Notice I have exactly the same equation. I just replaced the t with x minus 1. And then you just simplify. Uh, negative 3, I'm going to distribute. I get negative 3x plus 3 plus 5. I can combine my like terms. That gives me negative 3x plus 8. This is the rectangular form of my parametric equation. Okay. I also want to take the values that they were using and convert those. The way that you do that, you do the same thing. Your equation you solve for t, we knew that t was x minus 1. You substitute x minus 1 in for t here also. So that gives me that x minus 1 okay, is between 1 and 5 and then solve for x in the center here. So to get x by itself, I would have to add 1, which means I have to add 1 in every other part. And I get that x is between 2 and 6. So my new, and this is a rectangular equation, though. This is not a parametric equation, OK? That's what it would be. And that's what you would start with, is writing down, well, what would my rectangular equation look like? And what would its domain be? From there, I can easily write down a parametric equation. I could say, well, let x just be t. Okay, If x is t, then you do the same thing. You kind of substitute backwards. You put a t in for x right here. And that means my y would be negative 3t plus 8 for t between 2 and 6. Okay, So there's one equivalent, this parametric equation up here and this parametric equation down here would give me exactly the same curve. Okay, Now let's say I was starting from here and wanted to make another one. Okay, What, what would I do? Well, you would want to change the one that just has a t in it. Okay. And again, anything you do to this t, so I'm going to take this one up here, I'm going to create a brand new parametric equation that, again, covers exactly that same curve. So what you want to do is do anything you want to this t, Okay, anything you want. I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to say, well, let's just multiply the t by 2. Okay, So I'm going to make this new parametric set. So let's say x is 2 times t. Okay. Well, whatever you did to the t here, you have to do the same down here. Okay. So I am going to do 
y would then be equal to negative 3 times whatever I did to my t goes here, times 2t plus 8. And then just simplify this. That gives me y negative 3 times 2 is negative 6t plus 8. So yet again, I have a new pair of parametric equations that if you graph them, you'll see is exactly the same curve once again, so it would be x is equal to 2t, y is equal to negative 6t plus 8. I need to put my limitations here. It was that um, t was between 2 and 6. You do exactly the same thing. Remember, I just took my t times a 2. So I have um, 2t is between 2 and 6. To solve for t here, I would have to divide by 2, which means I have to do that on every other part and I get that t is between 1 and 3. So this description of a parametric equation gives you exactly the same curve as this one and this one. Okay, We really can do an unlimited number of things to these equations, um, which is why you can have an infinite number of parametric pairs that will give you exactly the same rectangular curve. Okay, so really the best tactic is to remove the parameters from the original parametric equation you were given. Then write a parametric equation from that, just saying that x is t and using what follows for y. And then from that you can do whatever you want to this t, just substitute what you've done in down here and here. Okay, I'll show you one more equivalent to this one. Let's say that we have, um, instead of multiplying by 2, let's take our t and add 2. So again, we're adjusting from this curve. This is the one we want to go from. Let's say we just added 2. Well, then we have to add 2 down here also. So that gives me negative 3 times t plus 2 plus 8. Okay, I just substituted t plus 2. Do the same thing with your domain here. So 2 being less than or equal to t plus 2, less than or equal to 6. And then we just need to simplify here and here. This would give me y equals negative 3t minus 6 plus 8, which is y equals negative 3t plus 2. Okay. And here to solve for t in the center, I would have to subtract 2, which means I have to subtract 2 from all other parts. So I get between 0 and 4. So I have yet another description of a parametric equation that describes exactly the same curve if you were to graph it. It would be that x is equal to t plus 2, y is equal to negative 3t plus 2 for t between 0 and 4. And if you take a look at that, if you graph all four of these, you will see they are exactly the same curve. Okay, so that is how you can take a given parametric equation and create equivalent or equate create excuse me different parametric equations that give you the exact same curve